Hello and welcome back to our channel where today we are very excited because we are doing a taste test video. Woohoo! Woohoo! Our favourite! <laughs> Some of you long term supporters of the Brick Girls will know that we love baked beans and we've made oh. several videos on baked beans in the past. And what is our favourite brand of baked beans, Mum? It is Heinz baked beans. Mm, yes. Yeah. And Britain's favourite baked beans too. Indeed they are. I always have a can of good old Heinz baked beans in my cupboard in the kitchen. So if these are all terrible but we'll be eating these later instead. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and one reason we're particularly excited today is because we do have a version of Heinz baked beans that we have never tried before. Heinz premium vegetarian beans in a rich tomato sauce. Mm, sounds delicious. It does. I have never seen these before. Apparently the beans are a product of Canada, but they're made for Heinz, which is of course a US company. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Bush's Best vegetarian baked beans in a tangy tomato sauce with brown sugar and spices. Mm, interesting. Mm, I was thinking to say the same thing. Mm. So we did try um, Bush's beans before yes. when we tried American beans a while back and we were surprised at the sweet taste. Mm. We'll see what we think. Yeah, a lot of um, Brits that we know who live out here in the United States complain about the sweetness of the baked beans. Because mm, we're not used to it. No, it's different. Okay, and the third can of beans, Lucy? The third can is by Full Circle Market, mm -hmm. organic vegetarian baked beans, maple and onion. Non-GMO, certified organic. Wow, well we got three very different cans of beans here. Yeah, three vegetarian beans, but all very different. Okay, so the first one is the Heinz vegetarian. What do you think of the colour? It looks very much like how you would expect Heinz, maybe slightly darker. It's definitely darker, it's yeah, not so orange. Not yeah, so orange. And it looks um, roughly the same consistency. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Okay, and the smell? tomato-y. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready for the taste test. Okay, after you. I must say we're being uh, brave starting off with Heinz. It's got a very sweet taste. Mm. Sweeter than you might expect. Mm. But not unpleasant. Quite nice, yeah. Oh, the, the sweet aftertaste lingers, doesn't it? Mm, it does. It stays with you. I think it's got a slight tang to it. Yeah, I do More like tangy. the tanginess. Mm, yeah. tanginess. I yeah. would say it's definitely catering towards Americans, mm. as it should, because it's, you know, being sold out here. But it's kind of got mm. that sugary taste that you might expect from a lot of American food. The beans seem um, denser and kind of thicker. Yeah, not not as soft maybe. Mm. Interesting, I wonder how they do that. <laughs> so the next one is the bushes one. What can you smell? Not very much. Visually it looks very much like the first yeah. one. If you put them side by side and you didn't know which was which, it'd be hard to tell them apart. But I would say it doesn't smell mm. as tomato-y. Which I think is kind of disappointing because mm. you know when you open the, the can mm. and you can smell the beans and you think, yeah. oh yummy, yeah. my beans on toast are coming. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, let's give them a try. They say the proof of the pudding or the proof of the bean is in the eating. Yes, they, they do. <laughs> Lucy is wearing a white top. As you can see, not the best choice of outfit for um, baked bean tasting. Okay, try I'm going to let you try first so I don't cloud your opinion. I would say that that is 10 times sugarier, sugarier than the first one. I think that one makes the first one seem quite savoury in comparison. Yeah, the first one is more savoury. This was quite pleasant, but you can really taste the amount of sweetness yeah. in, the, in the sauce. Mm. It almost has, you know, that like artificially sweetened mm. taste. Although it does say brown sugar, I think, on the can, mm. but it's, yes. it's something quite artificial about the sweetness. Mm. Whereas that one, while it was sweet, it, it did kind of taste like you might expect from sugar. So out of the first two, which one would you put on toast if you had to? I think that one would go quite well with an English cooked breakfast. Mmm. You know, sausage, bacon, eggs. It would go really well. Rather than rather than on toast, I would yeah. I would suggest. I mean, this is exactly what you would expect, like a, a barbecue in America. Mm. How they do them with like um, meats and stuff like that as yeah. a side. When I saw the full circle market tin and it said organic vegetarian, I had very mm. high expectations. When I opened the can and poured it into the dish, it looks quite insipid. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Weak looking. I know, and it looks like it's not potato floating in there, is it? Well, it was says it the it's onion? Got onion. It could be like a white onion, mm. but I don't know to be honest. Yeah, it looks more like a, a pale stew to yeah. me. Yeah, mm. it doesn't look as appetizing, but we will go in with an mm. open mind. Smell it. Can't really smell anything much. 
Can you? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not doing a lot for me. Like, you know how you eat with your other senses as mm. well. Mm. It's not really doing a lot. For, even the beans kind of look sad, don't they? Mm. Yeah, they know. look small. Yeah, they do look smaller, maybe. Yeah. But we'll give it a go. It might just be because it hasn't got so many artificial... Well, that's what's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, so it's it might... all natural. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try whatever this white piece is. As yeah, well. I'm going to let you go for that first. <laughs> the beans to me taste much um, not as soft, like they haven't quite been cooked enough. Well, that might be user error. Mm. Well, I needed to heat it. <laughs> I wasn't slaving over a hot stove for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these have been stewing since last night. Yeah. I quite like the um, whatever the white chunks are, onion or whatever. I to give it another go, not really sure to be honest. It's, it's like a, you know, you get so used to what baked beans are mm. when there's something that you eat so regularly and there's so much a part of your food culture mm. that it's quite strange to kind of venture further afield and try mm. something that looks and tastes quite different. Was this the one that had the maple in? Mm. I think the sauce is too watery, if I'm mm. being honest. The sauce isn't mm. crazy good in terms of its consistency. It sounds a weird thing to say, but it seems like the beans and the sauce are different things, and it seems like they separate when you eat them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't bind together like these two yeah. examples. It's like the bean hasn't quite absorbed the sauce in a yes. way that you might expect. Yes, yeah. so you can definitely identify the bean and the sauce, yeah. and not together as a whole um, experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're getting the maple flavour. Not exactly a maple flavour, no. no. A sweetness, not as sweet as the bushes. No. Probably out of the three of them, they may be better on a piece of toast. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe on a potato or something like that. Something to kind of thicken. Yeah. You they, know. With the jacket potato and cheese, that would be um, quite pleasant. I mean, I'm trying to be vegetarian now. Although, that being said, all the ones that we tried with meat, I would probably prefer the flavour mm. of than all of these. It did. I mean, you know, anything cooked with bacon in it's going to taste That's good, isn't true. it, really? It's true. And and they also had a, a, a more of a smell to them. Yeah, you were definitely eating mm. with all your senses. You got something from each of them. I don't know. I sometimes feel like with vegetarian food, it's just a, a little bit like weak, you know? Mm. Maybe that's just people don't put in as much effort mm. when they're creating these products. You know, it tends to just be really sugary and then that's kind of that. Mm. I would go for this one, which was the Heinz vegetarian. I wouldn't go for the organic one because I didn't like that watery sauce and it had no smell. But unusual, mm. is it? You would expect it to smell of something. Yes. Is, is it like a, a, a glass of wine that needs to open? Yeah. She's no. such a connoisseur. No. I would probably mm. put them in the same order mm. as you. I think this one first, then this mm. one, then this one. Yeah. And actually that in a full English would be delicious. Your suggestion with baked potato would be best. It's kind of a stewy type It taste. is like a stewy taste. Uh, I would think that would be a good combination. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And this one at your classic American barbecue. Yes. There we go. Yes, there. Well, Whatever so occasion you've got coming up, we've got you covered here we, on the Brick Girls yeah. channel. We hope you enjoyed this taste testing. We did. <laughs> yeah. If there are any other types of baked beans you'd mm. like us to taste, yeah. let us know and we'll give them a try. And let us know your favourite brand in the comments section below. <laughs> I nearly forgot that bit. Yeah, they're like, how? How do I do oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you gave us a like and subscribe to us on YouTube.